Hey everybody, it's Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a little mini album tutorial in the theme of Valentine's Day. I'm working with the brand new Tracy Reed Designs Smitten Collection. And so before I start into my process, I wanted to just tell you a little bit about what I'm doing, how it came about, and uh, then I'll share what I'll share today is my process for creating the base album or the foundation pages. And then later on in the month after Valentine's Day has happened, I will come back and I'll share with you the adding the photos and the embellishments and things like that. Uh, what I want to use this mini album for is a special date that we've got coming up on uh, uh, next week and so this will be a great little way to document and so what I did was I found this little folio at uh, Hobby Lobby and um, it's got a little velcro closure a little pocket black and white polka dots and I thought this would be an adorable little cover and what I want to do is trim off the seam edges. I'm planning to keep this folded edge, but as as we go through, as I go through and put the pages together, it may depend on how thick it gets. Um, so that's something that I don't know about just yet. But um, that's going to be the cover. And then I got these little these little like I guess they're one inch ring binder rings these came from Coco Daisy from a couple of years ago last year or something uh, they just fold in like that and I've got three of them I don't know if I'm gonna use all three or just one or two um, that's something that I've got to decide on and then I went ahead into the collection itself the smitten collection and printed out some of the pattern papers and some of the uh, Traveler's Notebook signatures to create the pages for the album. And so one thing that I did was I measured the space in between the seams here to get a better size. And I think it came out to be like just straight up eight inches. Let's see just to show you the page dimensions. Yeah, it's right at eight inches and I've trimmed these. All right, I've trimmed these at seven and a half. So there's a little bit of space there. They're, so they're seven and a half inches tall and four and a half inches wide. And what I do for that, because the signature pages are uh, five, or four and a quarter by eight and a quarter or something like that and so I bring them into uh, predefined rectangles and clip them to the masks in Photoshop another thing I did on some of them not all of them but a lot of them is added just a solid solid color border on the inside or the gutter end and so that's where I'll punch the holes for the binder rings um, and it's like I said it's not on all of them but a large majority of them just to be cute and just to play up more of the patterns and add a little bit more of a, a visual boundary for the page designs and uh, let's see so that's the construction of the album and then I've got a bunch of the stickers printed out and what I've done is I've gone ahead and sorted them by shapes because some of the pages I'm going to go ahead and do um, add some of the embellishments and things like that and so you'll get to see that today as well and so some of the shapes I wanted to use were the cute little stamps uh, the little banners and some of the hearts so we're going to play with those, we're going to make the cover page, and uh, 
So let's get started. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have fun uh, being inspired by this adorable little Valentine's mini album. Okay, so the construction of this album was actually really simple because of the design of this envelope. And all I needed to do was basically trim off the top and the bottom. I had already measured it out. Uh, the pages themselves came to be about four and a half by seven and a half. And that seemed to leave a nice amount of space for the binding. And then I measured it around those pages uh, for the envelope to fit around. And so then I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted the binder rings to go. So I did punch a sort of sample piece. I used my We Are Memory Keepers uh, punch to do that. And then when I punched the plastic envelope, uh, I made them just a little bit bigger with the crocodile. Um, <laughs> with the crocodile. I'm, I punched the holes in the cover a little bit larger with the crocodile just so that the binder rings would operate a little bit more smoothly. At this stage, I'm going to match up my papers for the layouts themselves. And so uh, I've talked before already about how some of them I used the pattern papers and some of them I used Traveler's Notebook signatures. I've overlaid some of the signatures onto pattern papers and some of them I added a little strip of solid colored or the solid pattern papers for the binder ring strip. And so I had a little fun uh, deciding what order to put these in. Again, uh, this is before the event, so I don't have any idea what kind of pictures we're going to be taking. I'm not even thinking about the kind of pictures at this point. I'm strictly letting the product guide these choices. What looks fun together? What can I work with? How can I pull these together into cohesive layouts and leave room for different sizes of photos and a variety of different photo styles. So some of the pages, uh, I've left some blank uh, for full page photos. And I also left the last page unattached um, so that if I wanted to add additional layouts, in the end, I could, uh, and just a spoiler alert, I did end up adding another layout at the end of the album <laughs> construction. So I'm just going to adhere all of these together, and this is just, <laughs> this is to make sure that I can keep them in order and can remember what I matched with what, and I don't have to do that again. And basically, I am allowing the product to set the theme of this album and the theme of every layout. And um, sometimes, sometimes it feels scary doing that, especially if you don't have photos yet. But it's also really freeing because then when you go to add your photos, you have specific spaces already kind of in mind and you just print and crop them to fit into those spaces. And it kind of, in some ways, makes the work a lot easier. So the album is constructed now, and uh, I'm gonna just embellish a few of the pages here already. And basically, I'm having fun with product here. Uh, just allowing myself to further develop the album. Uh, nothing is specific to the date or the event, the event itself. 
it's again just strictly product driven and so for the title page this is going to show behind the cover so i used the giant xoxo title as it as the title for the album and then i added this little label over top and this just sets the day and the date um, very simple not not very elaborate here and uh, it works it works beautifully it's so cute I love these letters and the patterns on these letters so that is the cover page done <laughs> and I'm really excited at this stage already how this is coming together for the first layout I'm gonna let the left hand side be a full page photo there leave some options for myself and then I added this tag and uh, decided to cover up the small florals that were on the tag with a somewhat larger floral from the collection. For this layout, I knew I wanted to use those adorable split hearts. And so what I went ahead and did was added the little plain rectangle of white cardstock and then layered those hearts over top just halfway. I had some ideas about what I wanted to do with that later on. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And then uh, moving on to this little page. This is uh, an idea that I had ever since I opened the stickers folder here. And uh, so I'm going to add a couple of these cute little stamps and then leave some spaces for my photos. And I decided that it probably needed to be backed with the white cardstock um, just so that it contrasted and stood out a little bit better against the stripe. For the Love Traveler's Notebook signature, I, I had some ideas already and I was gonna go ahead and adhere them down um, so I'm just playing a little bit with some product placement, but nothing really, nothing really stuck. So I'm going to leave it for now, I think, and we'll see what happens later when I have photos and that's it for the construction. Thanks so much for watching and I will have the additional videos linked down below. I'll also have the Smitten collection linked for you. And I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.